Well, so far, if you analyze the last few hundred years of life on the Earth, human activity apparently has wiped out 1.4% of all plant and animal species, and it is 100 to 1,000 times faster than normal because of human population, uh, development, pollution, over-harvesting. And if you take a look at a zoo, uh, many of the zoo animals that our children love, mm -hmm we may find them going extinct. Uh, the tiger, for example, uh, may go extinct. Many of the familiar zoo animals, bears, and realize that 18,000 species are at risk. Uh, climate change is also involved in this thing. Independent of where climate change comes from, right. we see that the seasons are changing. Summers are getting longer. Uh, winters are getting shorter on average. And we always say that the early bird catches the worm, but that <laughs> assumes that the worm and the bird are synchronized. Uh -huh. Many of these cycles, the natural cycles, are being thrown into disarray, meaning, for example, droughts in China going on right now, yeah. uh, perhaps famine in certain areas. So we humans cannot be divorced from what's happening in the natural world. Well, evolution says survival of the fittest, and so mm -hmm. far we humans are among the fittest. But we are also at the top of the food chain, the top of the right. pyramid, and it wouldn't take much to dislodge us from being at the top of the food chain. Well, in science fiction, of course, uh, the insects take over. But look at something very simple. Uh, we are dependent on just a few crops, a uh, wheat, rice, um, and if, just a few crops, and if a blight were to wipe out these crops, then a huge chunk of humanity would starve to death because yes. we're so dependent on just a few plants and animals for our existence. Yes. We should be wary of overharvesting. For example, overharvesting the oceans. Uh, we have drag nets, which in principle could drag the entire oceans. That's how efficient our technology is. Also, wheat production we have to worry about because water, water is the key to wheat production and there are going to be perhaps water wars in the future. Well, there will always be water on the earth. The question is the cost and what it would take to extract it, to desalinate it, to divert it, to irrigate. And so the cost of certain kinds of commodities could start to rise. So just because we're the, at the top of the right. food chain doesn't mean that we're invulnerable to what's happening outside. Yeah where biodiversity is being threatened.